Sweat off my brow. This how I look when an OTR driver do local work. I'm still built for this. Procrastinated leaving, and now I'm at the customer, and they are closed. Gonna be back open until tomorrow, hopefully. I would assume so, but hopefully. Um, this is one stop out of two. Uh, this load actually finals in uh, Texas. I had one stop up here in Charlottesville, Virginia. And uh, we up here and can't deliver until tomorrow morning, I guess. So we was able to park. We had a pretty, I think it's secure. I'm on the road, but. Like sitting on the side of a curve coming up a hill, cause you know Charlottesville. Anyway, if anybody knows Charlottesville, it's full of like, like this. hills. Yeah, so we actually on the, on on a road uh, alongside the curve. I did speak to a person that's that works in a uh, one of the other businesses, and they said we should be alright up here along this fence line. So. We're gonna post up here overnight. Hopefully, they, hopefully Saturday morning they're up early. Um, we can get this thing unloaded. It's definitely gonna be a tight, tight squeeze. So we'll keep y'all posted on that because, for what I see, up here. Nah, but for what I see going down there and where their loading dock is, because I walked all the way down there, it's Bro. It's, a, it's gonna be a trip. So um, we'll see. Some of that for you. The yeah, we'll see how, how that all works out in the morning. But um, yeah, we stuck out here now. Uh, most of it just stayed and left tomorrow morning. Right. And then I and delivered here in the morning and kept going. Nah, I think it was good. Go ahead, get out and get, get going. It's difficult sometimes when you have been off the road to get back into your driving. You know, just get your move back, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. You know right. Your muscle back, as he said. So sometimes we will stay in the truck even when we don't have a load for the next day so that we can feel you know ready all right so out here in uh charlottesville virginia we've been parked right there all night trying to deliver to this gray building right here i mean this brick building right here now uh that one we're delivering there like, I, like I've said in another video, I know I've gotten here a little late yesterday, so I, I'm not really tripping. Um, I don't even know if they were supposed to be open all night or today. I just happened to catch someone going in. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do, she said I can pull in here. <laughs> Make that right turn there. Go down that road alongside the building kind of go to the left around the back side of the building and then back into their loading dock. I walked I walked the uh, I walked the route last night. So I do have an idea of how it was done. I actually the game plan she just told me, I actually came up with it myself. So that is what it is. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna back up. Because I'm actually making this turn right here. This right hand turn going that way. So what I'm gonna do is just back myself up. We made this walk last night a few times. Went to the store a few times. So I'm, I kind of have a pretty good idea of what's behind me, how the road is set up behind me. So I'm not really afraid to bike back up. I got a good sized bike lane that I was also alongside. So I should be able to get a good ways back here to get myself out more so in the middle of the street. And that's what I want to do is try to kind of get myself at, I may even go across the yellow line. But like I said, my whole objective is to make that right hand turn up there. So like I said, I already knew I was pretty clear behind me. I knew what type of distance I had from like, physically walking it last night. so. I can see the machine this too. Why not? I got a hill that's back there behind me. See how the truck's coming around that corner? 
if you can see that. So yeah, I got that heel. So I'm just gonna uh, wait till I have a good amount of clearance as far as vehicles coming. Put myself out in the road. And uh, make that right hand turn in there. And hopefully she can direct traffic after that. not be in the way and also no one gets in my way turn on my four ways basically seeing stuff before it happens as well as just understanding how the truck maneuvers. Kenworth has a pretty wide turning radius compared to some other trucks. So I got a little Alongside this brick building is where I'm going. So that little loaded block right there. So what I'll do right now, kick out again. Walk this little curb a little bit. Left. I wasn't trying to get it in one tank either, so I'm on trip. But like I said, the objective is to get myself the whole truck over here. So as long as I ride this railing, I should be able to get this little curve sign behind me, which I did. Still backing up. I uh, actually had to break the seal on this trailer. Didn't have any uh, bolt cutters or nothing, so I had to go ham with a pair of uh, pliers. Um, but 
we are going to go ahead and get back in. I may have to, more than likely, load the pallets on this truck. I'm not going to really puff and puff and holler and scream about it. I mean, I'm going to send it in and make sure I get paid. But like I said, if it, any physical work I got to do, I'll make sure I get paid for it. Do me a favor, babe. Check up in some of the cubby holes up there. See if you can find some seals. Any any company Swift Swift seals? Cause she doesn't have any seals. She said she's supposed to order some and didn't. Blah blah blah. But just just try to locate some. And, and if you find them, just send them to the side, and I'll come back to get them. Uh, all I can remember is they're blue. They'll be all attached together. Plastic seals. You almost broke a nail. Oh, you almost hurt your knuckles. I still have knuckles. I would say best case scenario, they're gonna be on that side. So, I'm um, here. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and get unloaded. I'm gonna get loaded. But this is the spot I had to get into. I really don't even know how good I am in there. She, she told me to stop. Maybe could have gotten a lot straighter, but I don't know if I don't know if this is set up for a 53 foot to be honest with you. I probably just loaded from my angle. See what I'm saying? See how that whole thing is? So I had to make that left right there. You know what I mean? Coming from that way, so. But I got room on here to get these loaded, so. I'm gonna figure this out, get these loaded. Oh yeah, and I hit the concrete right here too. Right in the corner. Here's what it is. Like I said, I had to tear up the old seal. That's it right there. So we're gonna get this uh, material loaded and uh, heading down to Texas. They had hold the stuff up just because I'm trying to be an a-hole. So. I, had to load it. I mean, I can, I can, when I send in the information, I can let it be known that I had to load it. And I get with my driver people and my driver leaders and all of that to make sure I get compensated. It's, 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 it's all good. Well, I, I, just, I just do this. This was, my, this was my line of work before I got into trouble. Actually, it's the reason I got into trouble to get out of this kind of stuff. <laughs> That's not my job. And I ain't sure. Right. Like that, like this, but he wouldn't touch anything. I said, oh, hell no. You're getting what I'm giving you if you're not even going to yeah. help. But these all look straight in. These, they don't look sideways. Well, it's just one of these things. As a matter of fact, yeah, this, this will be the last one you do. Because I'd rather you do what I'm this doing than you do. This is not, I've done them. I know you have. Yeah, I'm not I the same. There's no way you'd be in this line and work for all those years and in a family good. business and not get your hands dirty. I've gotten a little dirty over the years. There's some of Hopefully it's not tomorrow. It's my mother. It is. Hello, mother. You want me to get it? You're trying to get to the wall? You're not trying to get sideways, are you? No, I'm trying to get over. I wanted to get it next to you. You do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, give me those labels. See if I can just throw them on the wall. Looks to be pasta. They produce pasta here. And they're shipping it to Texas to a restaurant. That's a spinach. So they have a spinach pasta. When's that? Like, we got a label. Okay. You have 11 of them. There's 11 total? All right. That's number one. And one more to All right, well, 
the loading is done, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put, I've had these braces for so long, go ahead and put one of these braces across those pallets, just to try to, try to secure it, just a little bit. They're pretty narrow pallets, so they're not touching each other wide ways. You know, they're all buttoned at the nose. So just to try to see if I can eliminate some kind of shifting. Try to secure my load a little something, something. And then, uh, we're getting down the road. It's your boy, Moido Fo. All right, so that's it. All nine, all 11 loaded. Threw a little low bob there. Don't know how much it's gonna help, but hey, I do what I can do when I can do it. But yeah, 11 pallets, hand loaded by your boy. Getting this thing all locked down, secured up. And we ghost, you heard? So after all the work, I was gifted with what she says is their best seller. 12 ounces of their uh, spinach fettuccine that they literally make, package, and ship from all of this location. So, hey, I walked away with a prize. So if you ever see pasta valente in any of your local stores across the country, anywhere, because this load is going to Texas. So if you see this uh, brand in any of your local stores, don't hesitate to pick one up. Real nice people. Been doing it for over 35 years. They gave me a quick rundown, so. And it cooks fast. She said, the older lady told me four minutes and it's done. So yeah, pasta valente, man. Y'all see it on y'all shelves. Make sure y'all pick that up, good people.